Hi, it's Katie and welcome to my corner of the world and welcome to another Mask Monday. Hey, today I have on the Kala Skin Smoothie Watermelon, but it's actually got all kinds of other fruits in it too. It's supposed to be ultra hydrating with watermelon, cucumber, rosemary, pumpkin, and apple. I gotta say, it doesn't smell like watermelon. I was wishing that it would have much a much stronger watermelon smell to it, but I guess with all those other ones in there, that kind of cancels out that, that watermelon smell. But this was in my um, Panning A to Z project. So I've used up my C, check on that one. Actually, I've checked off two things on there, or I will talk about that later in the month. Um, when I kind of catch you up on my panning projects. But I think what I'm going to do is for these ones that I use up early, is roll something else in. I'm going to still check it off that I finished those letters, but I'm going to try and see if I can get those letters done again. So finish that. Today what I thought I would do is kind of review the items that I used in January for you. So if you want to see what I use, what my thoughts are, then come join me. Welcome. Thank you so much for spending part of your day with me. If you are new, hi, my name is Katie and on my channel I do all kinds of unboxings. Subscription boxes, mystery boxes, I do some hauls, mask Mondays, tea Tuesdays, anything else that I find fun or interesting and I hope you do too. If any of that is of interest to you, please consider hitting the subscribe button down there. To my tried and true subscribers, thank you all so much for coming back and supporting me. I love you guys so much. Okay, January, the Shop My Stash and kind of Turn and Burn project. So these were the items that I chose for that month. These were the little guys that were in my Turn and Burn. So three items. Um, and I did use all three of these up. I'm working on the face mask still from January. I did not use, I don't think I used any of them maybe one in january but they will be in a later one i'm trying to use up up those and the february ones this month and i will say i've been very good that in the evenings i've been putting on a face mask almost every night either an eye mask or face mask so oh i'm getting through them the first thing i used up though was the sunday riley a plus high dose retinoid serum them. Just a little small guy that I got probably from Ipsy. I mean, this may go back to the Birch Box or Glossy Box days. I'm not sure, but I think it was an Ipsy one. And um, it's a retinol serum, so you have to be careful using it in the if you use it during the day, a because it will increase your risk for burning. So I only used it at night. It was okay. I didn't have any reactions, but it's even though you do get a lot of uses out of it, it's still not quite enough to really see results. And I will say, you know, on something like this, sometimes it's hard to say what it is that's giving me any results. Is it using more sheet masks? Is it using this? Is it using whatever my daytime serum is? is but it was good. I would try it again. I would not buy it for what Sunday Riley wants to sell it to me for, but if I got it again in a box, I would be happy to use it. Um, next was my mascara. I used the Urban Decay one. I did not like this. I don't know if it just got dried out or what. I don't think it sounds like it's still quite a wet in there. Or that's what um, the brush was a little too big, maybe, and it was very clumpy. He, um, I would find like clumps in my eyelashes and had to try to get them out. It also stayed wet on my eyelashes for a little while. Like if I put it on, I'd have to wait a minute or two before doing anything else. Um, and even then I would get like up here, I would get black marks down here. So it just, it was not my favorite. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of it. I did use it, it a lot during the month though. And the last one that I tried was from Tom Ford. This is the Traceless Soft Matte Primer. All right. This was really nice. 
I got one use out of it, it but it was really nice. Um, I wish I could get a little bit bigger of a sample size to use it more than one day, hey, but the day I used it, it was really nice. It did a really nice job of blurring everything out, um, filling in pores and wrinkles. I really like this stuff. Um, I'd have to find it on a super sale though. I mean, Tom Ford, it's going to be pricey. So I loved it, but unless I can find it on a really good sale, I'm going to probably not get it again. And okay. Items I did not use up. So makeup items. Let's go with the palettes first. Pull out the eye, all the eyeshadow stuff here. Um, we'll start with the one I, I did not like. This is the Tempting by Trend Beauty. I mean, I got it for three fifty. I guess you get what you pay for. Or we already had one pan that was broken when it arrived. Um, I think I did this, use this for two or three looks throughout the month. Um, anytime I use this on its own, own there was no staying power. It was all creased and and gone and within a couple of hours. Um, I primarily used this one, which is here, and this one, which is seductive. Uh, looks like I used provoke maybe once, and it looks like I used appeal, and then I know I used this one over here, lust. Um, also, I think I used this one, the law of application. And so I wouldn't recommend this one and I'm not going to keep it. And it's just not, uh, it's very cheap. It's very chocolate, huge fallout, not even, and including, you know, there was the one that was broken and of course that got everywhere else, but all of the other ones were getting all over each other. It was, it was just not a good palette. So it's going to go. Um, I didn't really get to try the single one that much. Um, when I first chose the single four or January, I chose a color that was like very similar to one of the ones in my little, little two pan one. And so I was like, okay, I need to pick another one. So maybe I need to put this back in. And I chose not to put it back in this month because I am using a lot of pinks and everything. So I think I already have this color this month. So, but this is what I, I chose to replace that. Let me swatch that for you. Cover it back up. These are notorious for falling apart. So, I mean, it's a beautiful shade. I just didn't, I think I used it once and it was okay. okay so I am going to hold on to it though to see if, you know, maybe I'll roll it back in and see hey, if I use it. Or maybe this should be my C. I had something else in mind for my C and my ABCs, but maybe I need my color pop. Okay. So keep going in order kind of from the worst first to the best. As second to best was the Nomad Venice Simplin Express. It's a nice palette. It is I think I used just about every shade in here. Probably, I think the only one I did not was the red. Um, I did do a look one day with the blue. So kind of um, some silvers from another palette. But, um, I used the London up here a lot. I used this one down here, the nightcap. I loved this green one. This was a great color. And I used the one in the center here a lot too, which was Venice. Um, I used the bar one up here. And then, then this one and this one were kind of one or two times. It's a beautiful palette. It is a great palette. I mean, it's Nomad. It, it's great. It has, has incredible pigmentation. It has incredible... Oh, um, staying power or on the eyes you know it what I put on was still on at the end of the day okay so it was great that way is it my favorite no I liked it I'm probably going to keep it especially for that green color but 
it's definitely on a chopping block. Um, it's one I will have to reevaluate. So, well, I think I said in another video, I was, I was really waiting for February to get here because I did not like my choices in January palette wise. I mean, I used it. I never did pull another palette that, that I used up this one. I used up, uh, I used the, the Temptations one and, and then the, and the last one I used, and the one I found I pulled for the most, was actually this Sophia and Maybell one. This was an Ipsy. It was very spritz. I forget if I even chose that one. And But it has kind of a foil shimmer up top. Looks like that. Looks like that on the hand. And then it has more of a matte on the bottom. Um, very sheer. You almost can't even see it on my hand. It's right next to it. But this was great for like a quick everyday look. Like if I was running late for a meeting or something, because most of the time I work from home, so I'm getting on Zoom, I would just throw this on and a little, I'll, um, mascara a little gloss and I was good to go I loved this one this was my favorite of the eyeshadows all month um let's see I use the Ilma Mascua highlighter it's a beautiful highlighter I just don't reach for highlighters that much so it didn't get a ton of use but what and I did use it I loved it that that is what it looks like it's very sheer on me, so you get just a little bit of highlight, and that's what I like. So, oh, that one's sticking around. And I also use my Glodiant, which I love my Glodiant. You can see I kind of like just swipe across sometimes. And these are better. Or, um, these are the ones I would really like live in down there, but I use it for a little bit of everything. And I love this one. And last two things, I know I pulled more lippies than this, but um, some of them just are staying in because as I think I pulled this one and two oh, that were like glosses on top or three. And because they're just toppers, I just kept them um, in. And but I put other like matte ones in. But I love this one. I use this almost daily. A, this and and I had a Huda one. That was not a good swatch. There we go. I had a Huda liquid that's almost this color too. So, oh, between the two of them, I use those almost every day. That's staying. This is um, Ulta. It was um, the Black Widow collection, I think. And the last thing that I used was from Keys Ace. This is a blush. I'm trying to see if it gives me a color. Or kind of a berry one. It goes on and super dark. Or you would think way too dark for me, but this blends out so beautifully. A, and I could even blend it down more than that, but it blends out so beautifully. A, a, better with a brush, definitely better with a brush, but I, I love this. I'm holding on to this. So, Overall, I liked what I used. I, I need to be a little bit more intentional about using things. Overall, I didn't like my choices on eyeshadows, but I'm keeping three out of the four. So, but one of them, two of them are kind of on the chopping block. The Super Shock and the Venice Simplin are on the sh uh, chopping block. The little Mabel, the little Sophia and Maybell. Love this. This was probably my number one product of the month if I had to rate them only because it surprised me how much I loved this. All right, that is it. That is all I have for you today. I got to go get ready and go up to my mom's house and help her out uh, until I see you next time. Have a great day. Bye.